Hi, my name is Chisu Kim, and I'm going to talk to you about Laplacian eigenvalues. Okay, so first I'll give you some introduction. So, our problem is given a set, given n set of n set that lies on some manifold that, that is embedded on in the large dimension of large dimension of Euclidean space, find a set of y1 to yn that lies on uh, low dimensional Euclidean space such that yi represents xi in some way. So, so assume that xi lies on the Earth, then Earth is Earth itself is two dimensional so two dimensional manifold, but it is embedded in three dimensional three dimensional Euclidean space. So what you want to find is to find two dimensional subspace and find the corresponding x y i that corresponds to x i that y i represents x i. So it is very similar to make a map because map is low dimensional low dimensional sub low dimensional sub manifold. Okay. So in machine learning we get intrinsically low n dimensional data lying in high L dimensional space with n much smaller much smaller than L. So recovering initial eight dimension M has many advantages. So there are several classical ways to do that, such as PCA or classical MPS. So both methods are finding some linear space that approximates your that approximates your data. Okay, so they sometimes work very well, but they sometimes fail. So why linear dimensional dimension reduction fails? So imagine that your manifold is either square or S curve or low. So the linear method works well on A but not B or C. Why is that happen? So for MTS, what MTS trying to do is they try to preserve all pairwise distances which result in linear embedding. However, if your manifold is non-linear, then if you if you pick two di two points and if distance between two points are close, then their distance actually reflect the geometry of non-linear non non -linear manifold. But if your two points is very large, then this distance is meaningless. They do not relate to the actual geometry of the nonlinear manifold. Okay. So what we can try? So we can try that letting yi only preserves local geometry, that is distance between y and yj approximates distances between x and x j if and only if distance between x and x j is small. So you can do it by this way. So find y i that minimizes this term with double i j being large if and only if distance between x and x j is small. So that is the basic motivation of Laplacian eigenmaps. Okay, so I'm going to, now I'm going to talk, explain you about the algorithm. So actually, it's very simple. So first, we construct construct the adjacency graph A. We put in i j edges if x i and x j are close in some sense. And second, choose the weight matrix W. And third, let D be diagonal weight matrix, which I will explain later. And let L be D minus W. Then so generalized eigenvector problem L F equals lambda D R. That would yield eigenvectors with eigenvalues increasing. Then choose then choose M eigenvectors from F1 to F N and that as this. Okay. So first, we put a net 
branch between modes i and j if xi and xj are closed. Close may, there are several different criteria for closeness. You can choose any of them. Okay. And step two is to choose weight matrix. So you could choose either of them. And note that wij is zero if xi and xj are not connected. Which means that if xj are, xi and xj are far enough, then wij is zero. And third step is let d be diagonal weight matrix of w defined by, so dii is column sum of w. And let l be d minus w, then we solve the generalized isometric problem L equals lambda di. And then lambda, let this be pair of isomeric, isomeric and isovector with isomeric sorted by this way. Then we leave out F0 and use first n isovectors for embedding in n dimensional infinite space such as this. Okay. So why Laplacian isometric works? So assume we are finding one dimensional embedding. So yi is in R1 and then y be partial y1 to yn. Then we make matrix w such that w is non-negative symmetric and wij is large if this, if this distance is small. So the reason criterion would be find yi such that we matching this term. Then actually what you can show is that this term is same as this one. So actually it is equivalent to find minimizer of y plus L y. And I put additional two conditions here because y plus dy equals one removes an arbitrary scaling factor. And y plus d one equals zero is to avoid trivial solution. Trivial solution every points into one. So yeah. And finding the solution is equivalent to finding the eigenvector correspond to second smallest eigenvalue for generalized, generalized eigenvalue problem ly equals lambda dy. And there's a proof. So in general case, is you can also show it similarly. And the solution is just to get a second smallest to n plus one smallest eigen, eigenvectors. Okay. And I'm going to show you some example. So this is called Swiss, Swiss row. So the main force is row. And so that was two dimensional sub manifold, but embedded in R3. And we have 2048 data, and XI is R3, and we want to find representation in R2. So I used k nearest neighbor with k equals 62 and use the column with t 100. And the result is this. So you can see the color changes as from red to blue. And here also color changes from red to blue. So actually, color is somewhat reasonable. OK, so thank you for listening to my talk. And the previous result, actually, you can download you can download this. You can download this code, then you can generate this result. Thank you.